I've come out of the uh, the crazy market. I was looking for some. I've got some Hungarian salami, and she warned me not to eat the skin. I've got a big chunk of that. It's all uh, flavoured with paprika, which obviously stains really bad, and it's all over my fingers already. So I could do with a knife. I wanted to get some pickles, but I couldn't find any. And the thing I'm really looking forward to trying is uh, Hungarian goulash. Anyway, this is the salami. It's nice. I mean, I'm no salami expert, but as far as salami goes, that's nice. Spicy. And I think this big chunk is, got, is enough, really. Look at that. Cut my fingers already. It's a good job I've got my wet ones in, in my bag, innit? it? Is it all over my face? <laughs> I ain't got my carer with me. Alan's my carer. Should be getting wet wipes out now, wiping my face from it. Thank you, thank Save you very much. Love. Thank Save you. Your love. <laughs> I will do, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. It's not every day you bump into John Shuttleworth, is it, on the streets of Budapest? Lovely bloke. Cost me a bloody fortune, that. <laughs> so, I'm on a quest. For some reason, I'm craving pickles. I don't know why. I felt a bit of rain then, spitting. I want to say a massive thank you for all your lovely comments on the last video, the Slovakia. And to all the sort of new subscribers, and welcome to the channel. And, but I just want to uh, clear something up, shall we say. So, because a couple of comments, people are like, where's van life, this is van life. Now, I never said it, what did I? If you, this channel is still pretty new. And if you look right at the beginning of my story, what happened is I moved out of my, uh, my house because it was just too expensive rent. And, you know, with the council tax and all the bills and everything. So what I did, I made the decision because my life was, I had no money left to do anything. So, you know, it was probably just a midlife crisis. And I thought, I'm gonna live in my van. And that frees me up all my money to be able to live my life and do stuff with my daughter and do stuff with Helen and just have a great time. It's not gonna be forever, but I'm just sort of living my youth. So yeah, that's what it is. This this vlog, it, this this channel is a vlog, and it's just everything I do. It's my life. So it's me in my van. It's me and Ellen going on holidays and trips. It's cooking. It's everything. So if there's certain videos that are not your cup of tea, if you don't like the travel stuff, then just skip them. That's not a problem. I understand that. But you see, as many people are saying they want the van life stuff. There's as many people saying, I want travel stuff. So it's a bit of a dilemma, to be honest. It's my own creating, I guess, but I just can't stick, stick to one niche. I, I'd, I'd get bored. Anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm walking down this street, getting looked at like a, a Muppet. I'm gonna try, when I'm not getting attacked by pigeons, I'm gonna try and uh, get some goulash. I want some goulash. I want some pickles and goulash. Don't know if they even do pickles, but I want it. So they put me away in back when they saw me. <laughs> they thought, put him out there. Anyway, no, it was packed. And I says, and I right, like to look at the food. I says, can you squeeze me in? She says, oh, we've got up there. So they've put me under the arches in the back. I've ordered. Hungarian goulash, which I've 
you know, I've got to try this stuff. And I've ordered, what else have I ordered? Some Hungar Hungarian pork medallions with roast potatoes. That sounds quite nice. And a beer, of course. So this is my breakfast. Let's uh, see how we get on with this. It's here. It smells lovely. They obviously right into the paprika because I can smell it on this as well. Again, I'm trying to film this on my phone because my camera's playing out, but here we go. I'm going to get it all down. Mate. Mm. It's like a, it's just like a stew, really. Really peppery. That'll be the paprika. Hot, really strong taste, right, really like it actually, very nice. So yeah, thumbs up for, for the uh, Hungarian goulash. I'm going to tuck into this now. And I hope he's going to fetch my beer, because it's quite spicy this. I'm loving this. Really, really nice. I'll definitely have this again, recommend it. My beer's arrived. This could be a favourite of mine, it's all over it. Mm. It's that pepperiness, that spiciness. It goes perfectly with a cold beer. Lovely, really nice. It turns out that Hungarian goulash is a lot more filling than you think, especially when you have it with your pine. And now he's just fetched this next uh, dish, which is the Hungarian uh, pork and roast potatoes. But well, we'll see how we're going with this. It's difficult holding the phone and cutting your meat at the same time. But anyway, here's the first bet. All in. Mm. Lovely. So paprika features in just about everything Hungarian it seems because it's been on everything I've had so far today. That is gorgeous though. So far I'm really impressed with the food I've had. Not even had fish and chips either. Tell you what I'm pogged. <laughs> I've done best I could. I've just I've, I've left just a little bit, yeah. but I can't sit here all day because I got another beer as well. So I keep doing bits of meat stuff going too. So what's the plan now? Well, just go for a one then. I'll go down to the uh, the river and we'll have a look around there. So I've just come to this uh, little bit of greenery to chill out for a bit and I thought I could practice my Spanish because that's what you do when you're in Hungary, you practice your Spanish don't you? It's just that me and Ellen are going back on uh, a trip, probably in November we're going back to Spain because we love Spain and uh, we're going to travel around so I, my Spanish is absolutely terrible, I can order one beer, one cerveza, por favor and that's probably all wrong. So oh. La Cuenta por favor, I know that as well. Uh, and obviously, hola <laughs> and adios. So I've got this uh, Rosetta Stone out and it's, I like it. It's got like 24 languages that you can choose from. And when you go in, obviously I selected Spanish and it's completely immersive. So once you're in, you're in. Obviously at the beginning, it's quite basic, but there's no English. It's very, you're involved in it. It's like you have to push the, click on pictures and you have to sort of select things and and it's like learning sort of through repetition in a way and it's really clever how it does it because you'll be learning some words and then you think they've gone and you go on to the next bit and then it fetches them back in again and you think oh I remember that also what I love about it is it's got uh, voice recognition it's got some fancy technology where 
it, it gives you a sort of sentence or a word and you speak into the app and it, it sort of scores your pronunciation which is really important isn't it for, you know for when you're wanting to like be brave enough to try to use the language when you're there so yeah I like that bit about it uh, although I feel a bit of an idiot sat in park speaking my terrible Spanish into the phone Niñas Niñas El niño come El niño come El niño bebe El niño bebe Voy a beber cerveza I, I think that means I'm going for a beer Might be wrong Anyway, I've got an exclusive 50% discount off subscriptions and that includes the lifetime subscription which is actually really good value when you compare it to you know like Spotify and Netflix and stuff like that it works out quite good so it's half price and you've got that for life that's lifetime so you can dip in and out whenever you want and you know as you get older and stuff and you might go to different places and you want to try different languages it's quite useful so I'll put a link to that in the video and uh, in the description and if you follow that through you can read more about it So along the front here as you walk along the uh, Danube you've got the all the sort of posh restaurants here and the bars and I'm on the Budapest is made up of it was two cities it was Buda and Pest a long time ago don't ask me year old like that but I, this is the Pest side and over there that was Buda Buda don't know how you pronounce it but that up there is Buda Castle <laughs> You know, the girls have like a number of set poses that they can call up at any time when they're taking photographs because you see them doing the same faces Apparently this is the famous chain bridge I think that refers to the way it's built and it was famously visited by Captain John Smith in 1605 I think that's when he was on his way to England to open his first pub so you know, interesting fact there for you It's probably not real, that I think I might have just made that up The John Smith bit is real but it's not the same John Smith I was going to go up the funicular, funicular Vernicular, vernicular. And we're going to go up the lift. But uh, it were eight quid just to go up. Prices have gone up a load here since our last day. Eight quid, that's a lot, isn't it? I thought it might be a couple of quid. I thought, sad that, I'm not paying that. So I'm going back over the bridge. So that over there is uh, the new Weatherspoons, uh, Weatherspoons Budapest. It's a cracking building. It's actually the Parliament, I think. <laughs> I might be wrong, but it looks like it is, doesn't it? It looks a bit like St Paul's Cathedral, but I think it's Parliament that.
So this is a bit posh for me. <laughs> it's tiny, isn't it? <laughs> It's nice though. It's like a chocolate souffle. Oh yes. Mm. Mm. Let me show you inside. Okay. It's all soft. So I'm in the, the uh, 360 bar. It's alright. I like it up here. You have to pay about four quid to get in, but then beers, that pint or just over two pounds, it's not bad. Actually it's not a pint is it, two thirds, it's not bad prices. And this weren't down. It is nice to be fair. I quite liked it in there, 360 bar, it was nice, uh, nice chilled vibe, I mean it's quite early so I can imagine it's better later on as it starts to fill up. I'm going to somewhere else where somebody recommended me on my Instagram page and I'm sorry, I can't, your name Magic Ball, was, I think it was or something, Magic Ball. I seem to remember that, sorry if I got that wrong. And they recommended this place called New York Cafe. So I've had a quick look, because I've not heard of this place before, and read the reviews. Hey, it looks a bit posh for me, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm probably not even going to get in. They'll look at me and they'll say, you're not coming in, mate. But we'll have a look, we'll see what it's about. It's supposed to be very beautiful. And that won't surprise me, because Everything in Budapest is amazing. All the bars and the cafes are fantastic. Right. So that's it. And there's a queue. Do you think I'll get in? Do you think they'll let me in on my own? I think it's like their version of uh, Betty's Tea Rooms. I'm not getting in, in here on my own, no chance. I'll put my glasses on, it makes me look a little bit more sophisticated. Well, somebody's just come out looking worse than me, so I think we might be alright. I've just got to hope that they'll let me in on my own. I might say I'm waiting for somebody, I'm meeting somebody here. We'll see. It's a dilemma, isn't it? There's things I do for you. I don't even want to go in here. It's only because somebody's told me to come in. So I've got in, but they put me in back room like Billy No Mates room. On my own, I feel a rape melon. So I'm just going to have an ice cream and a, and a beer and then get back to my hotel. So that's literally directly across from my hotel. So that's where all the noise is coming from. That's where I can hear in my room. Anyway, let's go and have a look. I wonder if they've tidied my room. Let me show you, let me show you the room. They've not tidied it. So it's a right tip. Well, it's not that bad. But it's nice. It's a uh, typical bloke's not made bed. <laughs> it's a lot better than, uh, than that hostel. And it was fairly reasonable to say it's in the centre where the, all the partying is. I wonder if I can open that. Oh yeah, you can. Let's have a look. I don't want to drop the phone.
but that's the view outside my room. You can hear the noise, that's that Italian thing. But it's alright, my window's shut. So, I'm gonna get my head down for a couple of hours and then I will hit the town and uh, you can come with me, have a look. I'm gonna relive my youth. I'll see you in a bit. Right, it's 10 o'clock and I wanna do the ultimate Billy No Mates. And I'm gonna go in this bar on my own. I'll try and film it, but it's really dark. So it might not come out, but you might get a, an idea. So I'll see you on the other side. somewhere quiet where I can and where there's a bit of light so I can hopefully you can hear me I bloody love this place I really do and even it's right, when it's right busy you can still get served really quickly it's like three quid a pint and the atmosphere is just it's buzzing there's people from all over the world just all come here and have a good time so yeah I'm gonna have a wander around for a bit maybe have a little dance uh, drink the beer and then I'll I'll take you to the next bar. I'm moving on now and I'm walking it's about well it's just right corner a couple of blocks right corner and it's called instant fog ass complex and it's massive absolutely huge you can get lost in this place now it's it's a club really and I don't think it gets going until early hours but I want to go and try and get in early because it's it can be a bit of a nightmare to get in sometimes so we shall see yeah, I think I'm far too early, but we'll go and have a look. I might be able to get some decent footage. It's the one down there on the right with the uh, the owl on the wall.
too old for this. I want to go back to my hotel and uh, have a Horlicks or something. Get tucked up in bed. See, the thing is, when I go to places like that, I think I'm still 20 odd. I think I'm still the top international DJ, raving away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it gets a bit much, doesn't it? I think. Getting a bit peckish. I might have a kebab, you know. I'm tempted. I really am. Well, I'm on my way home. And the flight's been delayed already by over an hour. So I've missed the last train back to Barnsley. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to call Helen up. She's probably not going to be impressed. But it's ridiculous, there's no trains until about five o'clock in the morning. I hope to be able to claim that back. Anyway, hopefully we'll, there'll be no more delays. She's the bestest girlfriend in the world ever. She's come all the way after midnight, aren't you, darling? And she's even fetched me a sandwich and a drink. That's how kind she is. I she's one in a million, hungry, aren't you, darling? Mm. I've missed you. I miss you too. Let's get home Let's and get, get to bed. <laughs>